Good morning, my dragon knight to be. How was your night last night? Did you sleep well in the nest? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I understand it's a bit of adjustment, but uh, alright, look here now. I understand that we may have gotten off on the wrong foot yesterday, and I want to make up to you for that. So, what I've decided is I'm going to take you on. What do humans call it? What is it? I've studied their behavior. Studied it for seven years. I shouldn't know what this is. What's it called? A date. That's it. A date, let's say. I believe that's what you humans call it, yes? Well, where are we going? <laughs> that's a surprise. But I will say it's a place where I've been going for years and it helps me find some peace and quiet and a clear state of mind. So, one last thing before we go, um, please don't try anything stupid while we're out today, because I really want you to like me, and I'm trying to apologize for my selfish accent yesterday. I want you to get to know me better, and I want to get to know you better. So please, don't try anything. Okay? Excellent. Let's go. Isn't the view from up here just breathtaking? <laughs> Are you okay back there? I wouldn't want you to fall off. <laughs> Do you want me to go higher? <laughs> okay, my love. Anything you want. Hang on. <laughs> you having fun? Good. Ah, it's right down below us. You're going to have to hang on for this bit. We're going to be flying in fast. Right, here we are. Oh. <sighs> this lake has been sitting on top of this hill for as long as I can remember. It's been up here for about seven generations, I believe so. They say that this lake was formed when one of the first dragons was struck from the sky by human weaponry. It was so large and it fell so hard to the ground created this little crater and the tears of that dragon's family foiled from the sky and filled up this lake. Nowadays it's known as dragon's special place. They come here and they have a little feast in this dragon's honor every year. I'm going to it ever since I was a little scaly lizard myself. Barely learned how to breathe fire first time I came to this lake. But let's not fill this place up with depression. We're here to have a good time, isn't it? So, I got this special basket here I was carrying. You might have noticed on my way up here. And I got with it a little something special for us because I understand humans tend to eat slightly different things than a dragon does. So, now that I'm back in my human form after flying, Let's see what we've got in here. Let's see, you got me some fresh fruit. Got me some special herbs. Ooh, this pepper right here is known as Dragon's Breath. It has an actual name in human terms, I'm sure. But Dragon's Breath was named because the first time someone actually ate this pepper, their mouth was so hot, they were said to have steam come out. So, that's where we got the name Fire Breath from. So, rather than have a little fun, why don't we? So, and also, this lake has been filled up with fresh fish. Once every few years, the fish populations migrate here from a local river. The river runs down the mountain into this special place. And these fish usually come here during the breeding season. They lay their eggs and then they swim back off into the ocean. So it should be nice, fresh, good sized fish for us here. How do you feel about fire cooked fish with some fruit salad? Sounds kind of human like, doesn't it? So let's say we get cooking, shall we? I don't know about you, love, but I thought that was rather fun cooking with each other. You taught me some human techniques, and I've taught you some dragon techniques. <laughs> 
I'm having the time of my life with you. So, love, uh, what would you like to do now? We could go back home, we could fly, and I'll show you other parts of the territory. And we could have ourselves just a good old dragon time. Wait, what was that? You want to lay down under the clouds and have a rest. Oh, well. Not the most adventurous thing in the world, but I think it's a magnificent bonding exercise now that I think about it. You're quite a clever little thing, aren't you? <sighs> Let's lay down right here. Oh, come on, love. I won't bite. At least I haven't yet. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I won't hurt you. That's it. Come on, nice and close. <sighs> You know what? If this is not what love is, spending time together on a beautiful day like this, then I don't want to know what love is. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Do you mind if I take a rest? Thank you, my dear. I'm so sorry, my dear. I must have fallen asleep longer than I thought. Wait, darling? <laughs> darling! Darling, where are you? No. No. No! You cannot do this to me! I trusted you! I shared the pain of my life with you! How could you do this to me? I find you. You will be punished for the pain you've inflicted upon my heart. I will set my entire territory ablaze in order to find you if I must. You will be found. You hear me, human? You will be mine. <laughs>